What happens to the body when getting bubonic plague? Although the present generations did not contemporary the periods of bubonic plague in previous ages, it is not considered a mysterious disease for humans, unlike the infection of the emerging coronavirus, whose discoveries regarding its consequences and transmission methods are still ongoing, scientists know everything related to the disease called Black Death. Here are the ways to transmit bubonic plague between people, and how dangerous it is, and how to treat it according to the health magazine Kinslo. What is bubonic plague? Dr. Ayman al Shibani, professor of virology in Zuel City, says that bubonic plague is a bacterial disease caused by a type of bacteria called Yersinia, which lives on small rodents, and transmits to humans through insects, the most prominent of which is the flea through the sting, where these bacteria grow inside the body of insects. He explains that the Black Death disease spread widely in previous times between the 14th and 17th centuries, and it killed large numbers of people exceeding 200 million people in various countries around the world, especially in the continents of Europe and Africa. What happens to the body when getting bubonic plague? The bacteria travels through the bloodstream, mainly affecting the lymph nodes, which leads to swelling in the neck or armpits, and is accompanied by the appearance of some different symptoms on the body, such as fever, headache, delirium, muscle pain, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and vomiting, and may appear with development the disease has some black spots on the limbs. There are different ways of transmitting the disease between people, as it is transmitted by droplets from the infected, and in some advanced cases the infection may be transmitted by touching the wound of one of the patients with the disease, if any, or through the saliva of the affected person. How serious is the Black Death disease? Antibiotics are effective in eliminating the bacteria that cause the disease, but the risk is that the cases do not receive the necessary treatment in a short period of time, which leads to a large spread of bacteria inside the body, and injury to various organs. The widespread prevalence of bubonic plague in previous times is due to some factors that helped in this, most notably the lack of discovery of the antibiotics currently used, which are considered an effective treatment, as there were no new repercussions on the disease that makes it different from its previous form. As long as a person has a response to antibiotics, there is no cause for panic, unless there are cases and they are not diagnosed early, and therefore do not receive antibiotic treatment, as this may lead to transmission of the disease, and a greater number of people infected.